Hey everyone, welcome back to Blaze Design, where creativity meets precision. You're in the right place if you've ever wanted to bring real-world landscapes into your ARCHICAD projects. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to import realistic topography from Google Earth Pro into ARCHICAD using tools like QuickGrid, Rhino 8, Excel, and GPS Visualizer. This workflow is ideal for site planning, sustainable design, conceptual massing, or any project that needs accurate terrain modeling. By the end, you'll be able to visualize any site in full 3D, ready for your architectural ideas to take shape. Step one, tool overview and installation. Before we jump in, let's quickly go over the software we'll be using and why each one is important. Google Earth Pro. We'll use this to search for and trace the site you're working on. It gives us a satellite view and a precise interface for defining location and site boundaries. Pro tip, Google Earth. Pro gives you more control than the web version, especially when saving KML paths. Pooh Visualizer. This free online tool takes your KML path and gives it real-world elevation data, which is essential for generating 3D terrain. Microsoft Excel. Used to clean and reformat the elevation data. We'll organize it into longitude, latitude, and altitude columns making it readable for contour generation. QuickGrid. QuickGrid lets us turn that organized data into contour lines, a critical part of building terrain geometry. Rhino 8. Rhino is perfect for preparing 2D and 3D drawings. We'll scale and clean the contours here, then save the file in a format ARCHICAD can understand. ARCHICAD. And finally, this is where the magic happens. We'll import everything into ARCHICAD and turn our contours into a 3D mesh you can build on. Before we proceed, make sure you have all these tools installed. Links to download are in the description below.
And that's it. You've just learned how to take a basic Google Earth trace and turn it into a fully detailed 3D topography model in ARCHICAD. This workflow is super useful for site planning, sustainable projects, and early concept development, especially when you need real-world context. Quick tip. If you noticed my mesh looking black in the video, don't worry, that's just because I have green screen removal turned on for my laptop. It's not a bug or an issue with the mesh itself. If this tutorial helped you out, go ahead and hit like, drop a comment, and subscribe for more content like this. And hey, share it with a friend or classmate who could use it too. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay creative.